Hello everyone and welcome back to another so, play to play. Where I'm doing the first now, case of LA War. And be maybe, successful. maybe not this will be a full playthrough. I don't know. My father was in shipping. However, I'm going to try and do this with no help whatsoever. So no music chime clues, no nothing. Do it like a real detective. So hopefully it goes all well. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That you, Bukowski? Go on through. Parking lot straight ahead. I need to get back to work, officer. The detectives are here now. You repeat to them what you told me. I did the right thing by calling this in. I'm just a working stick. Just give them your story and you'll be all right. This is your first case, Phelps. It's okay to admit it if you're stumped. If you don't know what to do next, just come talk to me and we'll see what we can figure out. Thanks, Stefan. You're okay. All right, first day on the job. Let's go look for some clues. I'm Officer Hart. Phelps, traffic. What have you got? Abandoned car, probably stolen. The solid citizen is Nate Wilkie. He called it in. What gives with the corner? There's blood all over the interior. Someone's copped the full Broderick, but no stiff as yet. We have an owner for the car? The car is registered to an Adrian Black, just north of Bunker Hill. All right, we'll take a look around. I'll keep Mr. Wilkie talking, but don't make him wait too long. He's the restless type. Oh, just an unusual park car. Nice day for it. I'll be quiet. Ooh, we got a clue over here. Let's investigate this. Insta heat. Brand name might give us something to go on. How's Hello, cameraman. Who are you? Oh, the same two of you fine. Can I punch you? you? I've got a mystery sample waiting at the lab. Practical jokers say it's contaminated soil. My guess? It's a big lump of shit. Sounds like a glorious day for you. Hey. What are you, some more clues? Thirty-two years old, married. Sounds like an average guy. What was he That's doing? That's what I'm out here for. Was a photo of a family. Hmm. Happier times, I guess. And a pair of glasses. Mm. Oh yeah, I can use the pad thing on this, can I? Well, that's way better. Stenzel glasses. Home repaired by the look of it. What else have we got around here? The car. Well, another clue here. Another clue. Victim looks to have lost a lot of blood. Did somebody get shot? Let's go talk to the coroner guy. Press this to look the trunk. Doc, Detective Phelps, what have we got? A lot of blood for a blood force injury. The victim must be in a very bad way. Any sign of the guy? Not unless he's in the trunk of the car. Oh, I see you're giving me clues there, mister. Ooh, what's with all the hay? Mr. F. Morgan picked up a live pig yesterday? Three dollars twenty for a pig? And a 
pyrite. It doesn't appear to be connected. Oh, I better go talk to the man. Let's have a chat. Sir, I'm Detective Phelps. Name's Nate Wilkie. You found the vehicle? Sure. Saw it just sitting there. Strange place to be parking your car. Figured I'd better take a look. And then I saw all the blood. So I called the police. Oh, that's very smart of you. Oh, I right, have some interrogations. Mind if I ask what you were doing out here? Well, I work for the railway. I was on my way out to the switch and reckon I'd take a shortcut. Let's have a look at that face. Can we zoom in? No. I would say that is a very straight face. I reckon that has to be a good cop, surely. Did you see anybody else in the yard? Maybe somebody hanging around the car? Nope. I hadn't seen a soul all day till you boys turned up. Do you know Adrian Black, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. That ain't a name I'm familiar with. Well, that is a very straight face. Nah, I don't think he knows the guy. I'll say, good cop. You ever seen the car before? Funny enough, I did. A couple of nights ago, it was over there in the parking lot. I know most of the cars that park here regularly. So it kind of stood out. We found a steel pipe with blood on it near the car. Do you know anything about it, Mr. Wilkie? No, sir. I went straight for the law when I saw the car was full of blood. Oh, you're a very good man, Nate. Very good man. There's an airplane in the background. Sorry, hang on. Wait, what are we doing? Yeah, you're telling the truth. Is that an airplane or a blimp? No, it's an airplane. Good cop. When you saw the blood, was it wet, bright red, or uh, darker like it is now? Darker, I'd say. Looked dry already. The wallet by the car. Was there anything in it when you arrived? You accusing me of something, mister? Oh, don't you give me that smug look, you bastard. How dare you lie? Stop. Oh, yeah, no. Oh, oh, yes, oh. Oh yeah, well, you're not gonna get me, liar. Do you want the patrolman to hold you down while we turn out your pockets, Mr. Wilkie? Maybe I checked inside that wallet. Not that I was gonna steal anything. Maybe I took a look. But there weren't no money in there. Not even change. Thank you for your help, Mr. Wilkie. We'll contact your employer if we need anything more from you. If you have to, I guess. I can't really spend no more time over this. Somebody's got to inform the wife, Phelps. You're done here. We'll head over there now. Let's go introduce ourselves. You talk to her, Phelps. I'm no good at this shoulder to cry on stuff. It's all right. I've got this. I'm all over it. Just a minute. Oh, hurry up, or else I'll kick the door down. LAPD, Mrs. Black. May we come in? We have some bad news, and we'd rather discuss this in private. I'm Margaret Black. We can discuss this in the living room. Please come in. Oh, well, thank you. What a nice lady. It's a very nice house you got. Your husband drives a blue Lincoln, Mrs. Black? That's correct. The car has been found abandoned, and I'm afraid there are signs of foul play. I knew something was wrong when he didn't come home. We believe your husband may be injured. We found a pipe on the scene with blood on it. Poor Adrian. Does the name Instaheat mean anything to you, ma'am? Yes, it does. We've just had a new water heater installed. Whereabouts, Mrs. Black? Just outside the kitchen window, at the side of the house. I'd like you to try and stay calm and remember everything that you can about last night. My partner and I are going to take a look around. When you're ready, we're going to have some more questions for you. Is that OK? Of course, officer. Anything to help secure my husband's safety. 
Well, let's check the place out. Come on. Have a good look around. There's got to be something in here to go on. All right. Jeez, I'll just take two steps and you're already up my ass. Two steps. It's a very boring looking room, that's for sure. Oh, hey. I look myself in the mirror. Ooh. Can I look at that picture? Interesting. It's a picture of herself. Can I turn this light? No. No, I can't. Um, doesn't seem to be too much else in here. Trust me, I know a clue when I see one. Because the, the, the light will shine on it. See? So that, stand, that ticket thing stands out a lot. Surely there's something in that. A used ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. Interesting. This gets more and more interesting as we go. There's some dogs. Two dogs and a gun. Two dogs, two guns. Don't know what that means. Oh, there's another photo there. Is that a glasses case? This must be Adrian's. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. Another picture of him. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? To my Adrian. This thing gets more and more interesting. Who is Nicole? Uh, no, there's nothing else there. The backyard. What else? Shirt. No, oh, what's this? Some matches. Cavanaugh's. So who brought this home? Maybe Adrian was a patron. R and I should have an address. Oh, we're not phoning them yet. I've got some more investigating to do. Oh, um, um. They look like more batches. Oh, got any clues over here? Nothing there. Oh, what have we got here? This was only recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. They cannot rust or corrode. They are guaranteed for 10 years. They, those were the days. If the tank fails within five years, you will receive a new heater free. Oh, wow. Wish they were still around. No. They only last a year, then they break. Well, let's go. What's in here? Oh, it's the laundry. Oh, this looks like a good weapon. To me. Oh, what are you saying? Don't know how to use an iron. Do I hear? Oh, there might be pigeons I'm hearing. There's a basket. There's some flowers. Guess okay, so they're no use to me. Oh, hey, what do we got here? Unfinished thing. No use leaving the thing half finished. 
We're a bunch of slackers. Um, no, no. Yes. Well, I'm good at jigsaw puzzles. I reckon it goes right there. So the pipe missing from Mr. Black's heater is the same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. I'm gonna ask some questions now. Out of the way, you. No, nope, phone right. call later. It's interrogation time. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. Oh, she's telling the truth. Oh, she's very concerned. That look is very concerning. But I'm going to say, truth. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I've told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. For a new pair. Okay. Well, that makes sense because there was was there two? No, there was one. There was the glasses, the repaired ones. I'm gonna say truth. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Location of Adrian. Adrian! Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. Come on, lady. Give me a challenge. So nothing out of the usual, then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Tell us about the photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. Oh, well, that's a, that's a very different face. Oh, maybe we should, ah, uh, let's accuse her. There's plenty to tell. You just won't tell it. You're lying about the photograph, Mrs. Black. You're incredibly rude and insensitive. But I guess you know that. I've told you what I know about the picture. Can I look up? Is there a way to look up? Here, there we go. Yeah, your line. Let's have a look. She wouldn't know about the vehicles. Wouldn't know about that or that. Wallet, no. Glasses, no. Not the train tickets. Maybe the message. That's what else. No, no. Yeah, I'm going to go with the... I always used to get this question wrong. I'm going to go with the message. What about Nicole, Mrs. Black? Was your husband going to leave you for her? I've seen the photo frame. <laughs> he thinks I'm stupid. But women sense these things. I don't know if he intended to leave me or if it was just a fling. God only knows. I only want to know that he's safe. This is a lot of questions. 
Oh, she's looking very upset. Should leave the guy. Screw him. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. Does he now? Yeah, that's a straight face. So Adrian spends a lot of time there. Up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. Of course I'm an awful person. I'm a cop. No one likes cops. Yeah, I think you're telling the truth, though. Let's be honest. That truth, definitely truth. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited. But he never came home. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. Hey, I know you. No, you don't. We were at school together. Uh, how about you buy me a drink? For, for old time's sake. No. I should arrest you. You looking for someone? I can't decide between the tuna fish. You know Frank Morgan? Sure. Frank's a regular. He's a loner in the back. She wants a five-star goddamn wedding. Let's go find so, Frankie boy. You Frank gonna Morgan? See a married man again? Who's asking? Cole Phelps, LAPD. I understand you're a friend of Adrian Black. Yeah, I know him. Are you aware that he's missing? No, I hadn't heard that. Tough break. You don't seem to care too much, buddy. We found Black's car, abandoned in a freight depot, covered in blood. You know anything about that, Morgan? Hell no. I, I, I'm sorry to hear that. I like Adrian. He, he's a good oh, boss. Please, don't tell me you actually believe this jerk-off, Phelps. I don't believe you for a second, f man from home improvement. If I knew what your name was. Marty Taylor. You're lying, Morgan. You were there. And you're talking out your ass, detective. How about you prove I was out at that rail yard? Oh, I will. Where is that old, uh, where's that receipt? Your name on it, Frankie boy. You were there, Morgan. We found a receipt in the trunk of the car. It has your name on it. We can call the slaughter yard and nail you on it. All right already. That fool Adrian's fallen for some dame in Seattle. He wanted me to make it look like he'd been attacked. Where exactly is Black holed up? No idea. I think he took off for Seattle. You are lying, buddy. Lies, lies, and more lies, Morgan. You know where he is. What have you got that says I know where he is? Let's go through L. Say no, no, no. Um, okay, so it's not there. Sorry. Sometimes you have to shake the tree to see what falls out. But you are lying, that's for sure. I'm tired of your shtick, Morgan. Spill it! Or we take you out in the alley and we knock it out of you. He's holed up at my place. He's waiting for some money to come through before he blows town. An address? It's an apartment house at the corner of Temple and Figueroa. Apartment number two. I think that's all. Thanks for your help, Morgan. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm just glad I could help. I love cops. Cuff him, let him go. It's up to you, Phelps. There's no way I'm writing this idiot up. Where's that goddamn waitress? Has he done anything wrong? Has he done anything wrong? 
He lied. I got drinking to do. You're getting nothing more from me. Here you go back to your drink. So you're well, gonna it's all see the same to you. Again. I'll go back to my drink. Help you, gentlemen? LAPD detectives, Mr. Black. You're under arrest. Look, I'm really sorry about this. I never tried to hurt anyone. I just needed to get away from L.A. I won't put up a struggle. Just let me get my things. I knew it! Phelps, go after him. I'll try and hit him off in the car. Remember, ah, the gun they is the always one. run. Always. That is a fat man running. There's no point here. running, Adrian. Mr. Black, get back here right now. It's over, Adrian. Stop right there, Adrian. Why not just come clean with her, Black? Why the melodrama? I thought it would be easier. No, it just got a whole lot harder. Adrian Black, you're under arrest for conspiracy and fraud. We'll see what the DA has to say about wasting police resources on a wild goose chase like this. You're going to lose your wife, lose your job, and probably end up in the big house. I hope she was worth it, Adrian.